Okay, let's start our look at Layla Unplugged by Eric Clapton. Uh, we'll look at the intro section. Now the intro section is going to have kind of the main riff, the chorus riff of the song, and um, the intro solo that goes over that. So let's start. I'm just going to play through it real quick so you'll know what we're going for. So you can saw that little intro uh, solo over this uh, opening chord sequence. And now let's go through this opening chord sequence. We're going to start with an open fifth string. So zero on the A string, then three on the A string. And then we're going to hold a B minor chord. Now how he kind of holds the B minor chord is with his third finger here. And I hold it with my pinky here. The reason I'm doing that is he likes to do this. Play the B minor chord, come down and grab this uh, the third fret on the A with his second finger, and then hold the, the uh, B flat uh, B flat kind of uh, power chord. Um, I kind of think it's I, I like to you could play it that way. I like to play it this way so it requires less movement in the hand. But so play it any way you want. But we're gonna start with the zero three on the fifth string. And then we're going to have a, a D minor chord, open fourth string, second fret on the a, uh, G string, third fret on the B, and first fret on the E string. Then come back down and grab third fret on the A string. And then we're going to come to a B power chord. Now this, oh sorry, it's a B flat power chord, and we have first fret here with the, uh, the A string, fifth string, and he likes to bar his pinky and so do I. That you bar your pinky across the third fret on the third and fourth strings. But you can just hold it like this if you want, or like this. Um, every once in a while you'll see him here at the, the, uh, the note on the second string as well which uh, gives it a major chord sound. But for the most part, he's just keeping it as a power chord. So he plays at the first fret here, then move it up two frets to the third fret. Same shape, same chord shape, and then back to that D minor chord. So, so far we had this. All right, and then we do the same thing again, just the ending of the the rhythm will just be a little bit different. So you see that everything was the same. When I moved up to the third fret one, I kind of delayed hitting it and then just hit it twice. Really accented it and went back to the D minor chord. All right. And then the third time through it. So that was kind of just playing on the uh, B flat power chord and then slid up to the, um, just take the chord, hit it, and slide it up to the third fret version of it. Strum it a couple times, then back to the D minor. So all together for that rhythm. And right then we have the intro solo that comes in. While I was the other guitar player, he has another guitar player playing along with him, and um, he continues that uh, same rhythm progression. And we're then as Clapton goes into the uh, solo over it. So this solo is going to start. Here's this first phrase. That is just going to start as a roll from the seventh fret on the D string. Roll that over to the seventh fret on the G string. Just with your third finger, just roll it, collapse that joint. 
Then we have, we have five on the second string, the B string, and then six on the B string. So that's four notes. Then you can do a quick little trill, which uh, a quick little hammer pull off. It's just a, it's not a trill really because you're not continuing it, but you're gonna play, go back to the five, hammer on to the six really quickly, and pull it back off to five. Then come back down to the seven on the G string. Then back to and play five six five on the B. And then seven on the G again. So all together. All right. Then from there, we got some uh, cool little slide figures. We're gonna pick five and then hit six and slide it to eight. And then pick six and pick eight and slide it to 10. And then you're gonna pay, pick eight to 10 and then jump up and hit 13 on that B string. So all of those notes were on the um, second the B string only all right and from there we're gonna have this little phrase so this is a simple little blues lick here we have 10 to 13 on the B string then 12 to 10 on the E string then we're gonna do one of those quick hammer and pulls from eight, I mean from ten to twelve, back to ten. So we get this. Then come over to the thirteen on the B, back to the ten on the E. Then we're gonna play twelve. I mean, I'm sorry, thirteen to ten on the B string. Then we're going to play 12 on the G now, back to 10 on the B, and back to 12 on the G. So all together so far. And then we're going to, ha from there, let me start. We're going to play a quick little hammer pull from 12 to 10, back to, I'm mean, sorry, 10 to 12, back to 10 on the G string and slide down to nine, then play 10 on the D string. Back to nine on the G, down to seven on the G. So all together. All right, then we have this little last phrase to end it. So we, we basically come into it with the that kind of the same as we started this intro solo. We had this seven on the D rolled to the seven on the G. Five, six, five on the B string. Down to seven on the G. Then we pick five and seven again on the G. Kind of uh, more of a staccato, staccato feel to those two notes. Then after you've done that seven on the G, come over to the D string, same fret, seventh fret. And what we did was we did a, we're gonna do a quick little slide. You don't really hear this seven, you just hear this, the note it slides into which is the fifth fret on the D, then third on the D, to five on the, the A string, back to the D string, we're gonna do a quick little hammer on from three to five. Back to three on the D, 
to five on the, the A, to three on the A, back to five on the A. One more time. And then we're gonna lead into the uh, verse section of the song with the open fifth string, which is the A string, then uh, third fret on the A string, and then we're gonna it takes us into the C sharp minor chord, which we'll cover on the next one because that is the first chord in the verse. All right, let's try to put that all together. It's a nice uh, kind of simple solo that sounds really nice over that chord progression. Okay, all right, I'll see you guys for the uh, the verse lesson coming next.